Hi there, Rose Jacobs with you for Calkine. In this segment, we're exploring the latest global events that can affect Australia's economy. Make sure you do hit the bell icon for all the latest updates at the bottom of your screen. International developments have always played a crucial role in determining the strength of the Australian economy. The COVID-19 pandemic created a shock-like scenario in Australia, first by shutting down the entire economy, and then by leading to a sudden resurgence of cross-border trade. For an economy that is highly susceptible to global events, it seems essential to discuss the casual factors driving changes in the domestic economic performance. In this episode, we look at some key global events causing some form of an impact on the Australian economy today. Soaring international demand from students. As the Australian economy opens its doors to international students, there's a range of after effects that are just waiting to take shape in the economy as a result. For example, the quick influx of students can increase existing demand for property while immigrants may not search properties for ownership. Australia has finally announced its international border reopening from 21st of February this year. The potential admissions from abroad are being hailed as a positive sign, especially given the loss to education industry due to the border closures. The reopening can offer a chance to the education sector to fully return to normalcy. Next, the Russian-Ukraine issue. Possibly a bleaker affair on the global front is the continuing power struggle between the Russian and Ukraine military forces, with the former possibly invading Ukraine. Reports are doing rounds that Russia recently pulled back some troops from the Ukrainian border. However, you can't neglect risks associated with the prevailing geopolitical tensions between the two countries. The said event can weigh heavily on the global oil industry, disrupting supply chains and pushing up oil prices to new highs. The ill effects of war are almost always felt immediately on fuel prices, impacting the average consumer gravely. And rising US inflation. Inflation is a necessary evil that must be tackled efficiently by policymakers, while domestic price rise has been a persistent issue for Australia. Rising inflation in the US can also rain down on Australia. Inflation in the US stands at a 40-year high of 7.5%, indicating serious uncertainty over the months ahead. The rise in prices of goods and services has been a common phenomenon in nations revering from the impact of the pandemic. However, there is a stark difference between Australia and the US in how inflationary pressures are taking shape. These global factors are still in the process of development and can change in the coming months, while an increased flux of foreign students paints a stronger picture for the economy. Other global events provide a murkier circumstance for Australia. So it would be interesting to see how these factors shape up in the long term. But that's a wrap for now. Please check out the website for more, calkindmedia.com. Make sure that you like, comment and subscribe to the channel. I'm Rose Jacobs. Thanks again for joining me.